Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today we have a very hot button topic to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking. I can't tell you how many questions I receive from my viewers pertaining to whether a certain website offering a jailbreak is fake or legitimate. I'm here to tell you that absolutely all of them are fake. Most of them will promise a jailbreak for either iOS 9.1, 9.2, 9.2.1, the latest public firmware, or even iOS 9.3 beta. Again, all of them are scams, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can spot them moving forward. Just note that these scams do come in a number of different varieties and flavors, and individuals attempting to capitalize on your vulnerable state, again, being that you're waiting for a new jailbreak for whichever firmware you do happen to be on. And I'm going to highlight the main ones in today's video, but there may be other ones that I happen to miss. There are definitely some crafty individuals out there, so if you have any questions as to whether a jailbreak is legitimate or not, all you have to do is come to my channel. If I have posted a tutorial, then a jailbreak is official, but if I haven't, then it's definitely fake. My response time is amazing when it comes to issuing new jailbreak tutorials, so just check out my channel. If I have a guide on it, it's legit. And if you have yet to subscribe, which is how you'll be notified immediately as soon as a jailbreak is available, just click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. Now I have broken down these scams into three main categories, and down below in the more info, you'll actually find a table of contents that will allow you to easily skip through this video to find the sections that most interest you, though I definitely recommend watching it in its entirety because it's important to be informed when it comes to all of these scams. So up first, we have the ones that don't necessarily compromise your personal information, but rather your wallet. You'll never have to pay for jailbreaks. If you come across a website that promises a jailbreak in exchange for monetary compensation, it is 100% a scam. So official sources and distributors of jailbreak utilities such as Taiji as well as Pangu will always make their utilities available for free. However, just because it is free doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't a virus and what you download could infect your computer. So if you happen to come across something sketchy, again, just come to my channel to see if I've created a tutorial on it. Next up, these ones also aren't really dangerous when it comes to your personal information as well as your identity. However, what they do is they attempt to milk you for ad revenue. So I'm sure you've seen them by now. I'm actually not going to go to any of them simply because I don't want to promote them in any way, shape, or form. But essentially, they'll promise that you'll either be able to jailbreak or install Cydia by completing a number of different surveys or downloading applications, and you'll just end up in an infinite loop either completing these surveys or downloading these applications. And they're just from ad advertisers, they're earning ad revenue on your work, and they're never actually going to give you a jailbreak, obviously, because they can't, because it's a complete scam, guys. What's more, I'm going to say this, while it is true that in the past you have been able to jailbreak on your device itself without the need of a computer, we're mostly talking about jailbreak me right now, that method really just isn't feasible any longer, and you will need to use a computer to actually jailbreak. So that's another bit of important information to keep in mind when you try to determine whether you're looking at a scam or not. Finally, we have the third category and we're starting to get into the most dangerous kind. I have broken this down also into three subcategories behind even this third one here. So first of all, we have those that ask you to install profiles. Now I'm just here on Free Apps Fast, which is an application service that I own and it's official and legitimate, but I'm just using it to show you what a profile would look like if you happen to come across a website promising a jailbreak just by installing a profile and completing completing some basic information, and they're most likely trying to steal confidential data from you. So this is basically what a profile looks like. I'm tapping get started. Remember, this one is official, and you can see that down below here, it states that it is verified. Nine times out of 10, these fake jailbreak websites will say not verified there in red instead of verified in green. Sometimes they'll slip through and they may say verified. Either way though, if a website says you'll be able to jailbreak by installing a profile, it's fake. And if you happen to fall for it in the past, it's relatively easy to remedy. However, if you've already installed the profile, chances are good they've already collected everything they need on you as well as your specific device. But what you need to do, because the profile probably still exists, is essentially go inside of the settings application. So I'm just going to launch up the settings application here. We're inside of general, and now you can see this profile tab. Chances are good if you don't have a profile installed, you won't have access to this section and it won't even be visible. 
that's fine. You can just move on. You don't have to worry about anything. But if you have certain things installed inside of here, then you have to uninstall them. It's just as simple as that. So you can tap on them and you can remove them. And now we're starting to get into the absolute most dangerous kind, those that utilize a developer enterprise certificate. So applications that utilize the developer enterprise program probably won't last for long. It's a way to distribute applications outside of Apple's app store. And once Apple catches these fraudulent applications, they'll shut down access to that developer enterprise account, as well as the certificate or certificates that were used to distribute them. And while it is true that developer enterprise certificates have been used in the past for jailbreaks, most notably in the Pangu jailbreak for iOS 7.1.x, that will no longer apply because Apple has closed the loophole that previously allowed you to just set the date back to when a developer enterprise certificate was active, and then you'd be able to install that application no matter what. That was patched in iOS 8 and developer enterprise certificates can no longer be used for that reason because once they're shut down, you can no longer install the applications that require them. But if you come across a scam with active developer enterprise certificates, those are the most dangerous ones. And the attackers can accomplish a whole host of varying malicious actions, but essentially they can pretty much take control of your device and gain access to anything they need to. And that's really prevalent in iOS 9.1 and 9.2 because in 9.2.1, Apple publicized the vulnerabilities that existed in those two earlier firmwares, meaning anyone with the knowledge can use them to exploit and attack individuals. If you happen to miss my video covering Winknown's write-up on iOS 9.2.1 security, check it out. I'll have it linked for you now in your cards. It's very important and it's on the exact topic we're discussing right now. And we'll just take a quick look at what a developer enterprise application install actually looks like because it is different from just a regular profile which redirects you to the settings application. This one you'll actually have to trust the application and you may also find it inside of settings general profiles as you can see here in which case if you did happen to fall prey to a developer enterprise certificate distributed app you'd go inside of that section and you'd essentially remove it from profiles as well as just deleting it from your device but the same thing applies for applications distributed through this method chances are good the attackers have already gained everything they need from you at that point. And now finally, the last method of distributing applications that again can gain full access to your device is just via an Xcode project file. And with those, you actually have to download the Xcode project onto your Mac and then use Xcode to compile it for your iOS device. Now, unless you know the developer or you're able to read through the code and verify it yourself, do not install those applications, especially if you're on iOS 9.2 or 9.1. Now, I have made videos previously highlighting an application called Goodnight, which essentially achieves flux-like functionality on firmwares pre-iOS 9.3, and that is completely safe. I have tested it and verified it myself, but if you haven't, just completely avoid whatever it ends up being. I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope it has equipped you with the knowledge of how to deal with these various scams in the future. Remember, if you come across ones and you don't see the method that they use highlighted in this video and you want to check if it's legit or not, just be sure to come to my channel and see if I've posted a tutorial on it. If I haven't, it's fake. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if it's helped you. Also subscribe if you have yet to, that way you'll be completely notified when a jailbreak is released. You can also support the channel on Patreon. You'll have the option to receive instant jailbreak notifications within minutes of the release of a new tool. And if you want to be updated even more frequently, such as when I'm working on new videos or when I publish varying things ranging from iOS to jailbreaking, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.